Hi, Aries. Hello, Aries. Sun, moon, and rising. This is G1 Writer with G1 Insight. And today, I am providing you with your career, life, and love focus. Your overall energy for the October month, 2018. Your energy is very pleasant, Aries. It's very pleasant, very harmonious. It's very elegant, very straightforward straight to the point. I dealt some cards here for you that is very, very beautiful. Okay, so let's just get into it, okay? Shall we? <laughs> so you guys actually got all tied up, okay? So we're looking at the all tied up card and I'm thinking, hmm, what could Aries possibly have on their mind? What is stopping them from moving forward? What are they focused on so much that they cannot live their best life? Or what is occurring at this moment with your finances or with your job situation? Okay, for some of you, it's like you are in dying need or not in dying need. Okay, I, was, I won't say that. I won't be that dramatic. But I'll say that you guys are waiting for something, eagerly waiting for some type of news. Or for some of you, you may just be simply tied up with being busy these days or running around doing everything for everybody else. This is also situations that where you could be tied up at. This energy came out a lot for some signs in September. So this is interesting that it came back out this month. Um... If you look at this card, dear love, this woman is like completely tied up. And this could be by situations that is overwhelming her. This could be something simple that she needs to break away from. Could this be a relationship that you need to get away from? Could this be a friendship that you need to leave alone? Could this be you feeling stuck in the past? For each and every one of you, this energy is different, okay? Either way, you don't get stuck here. So even though you may feel a bit stuck right now, you will not end up there, okay? Something is helping things to move along. So this could be, you know, you worrying about something or feeling stuck in a particular situation. Or it may just be too overwhelmed with everything that's going on around you and you really need to break free from the situation, okay? So we're going to leave that there for now. You also got yin yang in reverse. Okay. So this is literally about choosing between two different worlds. It's like you guys have to follow your heart. You're passionate about so many different things, but yet you still need to make some type of decision. And you will. This is clarity coming forward to you. This is you making up your mind about what you really, really want to do. For a lot of you, you may just simply walk out this season. I mean, this could be just simply walking away from my employment, completely focused on a business. This could be simply just starting over in a new relationship, thinking about someone from your past, trying to rekindle that old relationship. This could just be simply following your heart, choosing between two different paths, okay? So when I see this energy, it just lets me know that you have some decisions to make, Aries, whether, and that's probably why you do have all tied up, because you definitely have some type of decision to make, whether it is leaving something, a situation, or an individual I don't even think it's a relationship problem. I think it's more of a business situation, like a career situation. I think it's more of choosing whether you want to stay with this job or get a new job. For some of you, you're deciding, well, do I really want to go back to school? I don't really have the money to go back to school. A lot of you had those type of concerns. How am I going to pay bills this month? I had this going on. I had that going on. 
this is time for you to really increase your wealth, Aries. And you can only do that by being very strategic. A lot of you like to do things like a lot, more than one time. Like you would do like th maybe three different things at one time and then wonder why you're so overwhelmed. The universe is encouraging you to slow down because you are very, can be very impulsive and you're a hard worker. That is the most pleasing part about you is that you're a hard worker. You will not give up, especially when you are working towards something. You will not give up. After all, a lot of people love to have you as a boss because you don't give up so easily. You know, you're a very fair person. You love to love people. You love to make money. You love to laugh and have a good time. And people love that overall energy about you. But I feel like a lot of you feel um, unappreciated in a sense, feeling unappreciated, feeling like you deserve more, you should have more. And guess what? This season, you actually get all of what you've been asking for. We have Venus retrograde at the beginning of the month. We're still going to be dealing with that full moon in your sign. However, the beginning of the month of October, we have Venus going retrograde around the 5th or 6th, give or take a day. Um, we also have a new moon coming up to us. October 9th in Libra. And that's really, really good for you, Aries, because that's all about your partnerships, your finances. Venus going retrograde in Scorpio is also good for you as well, because you and Scorpio share the same ruling planet, which is Mars. So having Venus go retrograde in Scorpio for you is going to be, you know, you may feel like a bit of a setback. Or you may feel like some things in your relationships or partnerships is not moving the way you would like them to. But when it comes to money, Aries, you will not be having that many issues when it comes to finances. So even though you may feel a bit overwhelmed, you may feel like it's not happening fast enough, you may feel like nothing is coming for you, but there is something that you all have been waiting for, and it is going to be released. OK, I see financial constraint here, but it's in reverse. So that lets me know that whatever money that was, you know, felt like was lost or stolen or money that you have been waiting for and just waiting for you. A lot of you have been waiting for some deep resources or, you know, you just I just feel like a lot of you are waiting for some type of news in regards to your finances, whether this is a job, a career choice you know, a loan for school, a loan for your business, a credit card decision. Um, this could be something doing with inheritance. This could be money that is owed to you. This could also be, yeah, something that is owed to you. And a lot of you, you know, it's like this money was stuck for a while. By the end of the month, okay, once the energy clear a little bit, like, right before that Taurus full moon, I believe that is when you'll be feeling all of this energy. Like, because it came out in reverse. So it lets me know that everything is about to be released. It's no longer gone or stuck or lost, okay? It is coming to you. Everything that you have been asking for, that you've been working toward. I'm talking about a possible promotion for some of you, not all of you. Not all of you, but for some of you, a great deal of you, actually. I'm talking about increase in your wealth, whether this is a promotion, whether this is um, um, some type of increase in wealth through your spouse. This is good news overall when it comes to your finances. This could even be another employment opportunity. The only thing I would say to you, Aries, is that that beginning of the month when we had that Venus go retrograde, it's going to go retrograde for about six weeks. So just be mindful the first couple of weeks early on into Venus retrograde. Don't be so um, impulsive when it comes to making any type of decision in regards to employment. Um, you know, try your best to really weigh all of your options is my overall advice when it comes to your finances. Weigh out your overall options. If you leave, what's, what can happen? What's the pros? What are the cons? The money that you're waiting for, you know, how long could you be possibly waiting for them to cut a check or, 
you know, what could be, what could possibly go wrong? What is the good part about it? So you got to weigh out all of your pros and cons before you just walk away, okay? Or if you are looking for a job, then follow your heart, but make sure that this is something that you really, really want to do, okay? Anything that is going to bind you or keep you stuck or um, anything that's going to take you back to that energy where it's like all tied up, you don't want that. You want something where it's going to allow you that freedom that you need, okay? So, but overall, financial constraint is a good thing coming out in reverse. That means it's going to be released to you. That means good news is coming. Something is going to be worked out in your favor, dear love. This could even be child support. This could be some something dealing with something that is owed to you or something that you have been asking for, okay? Very good, Aries. Very good when it comes to money. Now, we also, you know, I pulled out this, the history energy here or, you know, to help us decide how we can move forward with this um, new energy that we've got going on. And... The one thing that really bugged me out was the fact that you have a lot of energy that is asking you to take your time, to reflect, to think about what you really want. You have a lot of energy that is talking about moving forward, you know, not to look back. This is being all tied up, but then here you got to look out. What are you looking out for? Whatever it is, make sure you're doing the right thing, okay? Make sure that you are budgeting your finances. That second week of October, you may feel like you want to go, exp you know, like you want to just splurge on something. You may feel very impulsive and just ready to go spend your money. And the spirit is saying, listen, don't do what you've done in the past. You know, think wisely. What can you do differently this time around to prove yourself? What can you do differently? All right. And. Even this energy, if you guys look at this car, it's so beautiful. It's like you guys are being surrounded and blessed with tremendous energy, okay? Spirit and, you know, your ascended masters and loved ones from the past are guiding you to go deep within. You may have feel like you've lost sight. You may have feel, you know, because like I said, this is another car that came out in reverse. So you may feel like you've lost yourself. You know, look at that. You may feel like you have lost yourself. You have maybe feel like you lost sight of your purpose or, you know, feeling like, what's the point of me doing all this if I can't be successful? I just hear a lot of you saying that. But this cannot be further from the truth. It's like, I mean, you guys are not stuck. You may feel like that or you may have been feeling like you lost your self-confidence. But it's actually working out. And you have no idea just how amazing things are working out. So, you know, pay attention to that third or fourth week of October. There's going to be some breaking news there, love. Because, of course, the universe or spirit would never have us, you know, sitting around pouting forever. It's all about the intention that you make, dear love. You know, you may need to feel like you have lost even contact with old friends, you may be missing friends, you may be feeling the need to be surrounded by friends. Do that, Aries. Have a big old party for no reason at all. You know, we have Halloween here in the States, you know, so on the 31st of October. So get out, dance, have fun, blast some music, you know, invite guests over, have a big old feast. You know, cook dinner, burn some candles, and be romantic with the love of your life. You may be feeling a bit too emotional or stressed, or maybe you're just simply too busy. Remind yourself, dear love, that you are here for a reason. It is time to do the work that helps you arrive at your dreams. So again, you have it's all about the intention. Like I said, I do naturally see that you guys actually really do need to make a decision. You have to make up your mind about something. And for a lot of you, this is about your career or your stability, your overall stability. No matter why you feel disconnected, you know, that is when your need, when you may need, like, just a little bit of love being surrounded by you. 
You may need your life helpers and spirit guides the most. So you may feel like you need to pray a bit more this month. They have not deserted you. So don't desert yourself. Open the door and renew your commitment. Okay, renew your commitment to yourself, to your dreams. You know, if you made a promise that you are not going to eat bad anymore because you're tired of gaining all the unnecessary weight or if you feel like you have um, anything where you feel like you've just been neglecting yourself or you've been neglecting your goals, this is time for you to reconnect with yourself, dear love. And that is what I love about Venus Retrograde is that it asks us to reflect, to go deep within, to challenge us, to be smarter, to make better choices. You know, when you do, you'll find the help, love, and the joy that you've been seeking. Like, whenever you feel like you are out of space or you just not feeling good and you don't feel like yourself, you need to reconnect with family and friends and people that can uplift you and make you laugh. Because you will find the help and love and the joy that you need right now. So during this phase, it is definitely important to take some action towards your purpose each day. So if you feel like, you know what, I really want to work my own business, but I don't know where to start, start anywhere. Start with the business plan. Start writing things down. It's important that you follow through with all of these things, okay? It's very, very important. Now, what I love about the lookout card, like I said, is very beautiful, okay? But it, it lets me know that this is time for you to just, once again, just reflect. Look around you, okay? Look around you. Are you causing the problems that is coming to you? Or are you just simply looking at the problems and not doing anything about it? There, there is a challenging situation, perhaps even a little bit of a battle that is around you. And for a lot of you, this could be, you know, again, just feeling the need to belong, the need to be accepted, the need to be praised for all of your hard work and efforts. A lot of you are feeling unappreciated. You could experience a sudden fall or loss of your position, but if you are aware, you can make a backup plan that will help you ride through this difficult time a little more easily. And like I said, I don't feel like for a lot of you it's a loss. I feel like a lot of you don't even give a damn. You're like, whatever, I'm done, I don't care, you know, I'm I'm out of here. You know, so <laughs> a lot of you may not even see this completely as a loss. Um, so, but nevertheless, even if you feel, you know, like this is stressing you out, just remember it's just temporary, dear love. It's important to keep your balance. So even if you have lost some things in the past, like I said, even if you have, these things are not happening right now. What's going on is that everything is about to be released to you, dear love. Like I said, around that Libra new moon, that is when you want to make all of your best decisions. But don't do it just yet. Just wait until after the Libra new moon. All right? So... It's, it's so easy to just give up and it's so easy to just want to walk away. No matter what happens, dear love, you cannot just give up that easily, okay? Now, when we think about just love in general, I mean, you guys got the passion card. You got honeymoon. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. Passion, baby. So even in love, it seems like you guys are working some things out, okay? Now, we got the reflection card here, and normally, like I said, it's a very beautiful card, right? You may be guided to any type of gifts that you may have. You may be refocusing on your passion, or you may need to redirect your energy toward your passion. Because, again, a lot of you are feeling tied up, feeling like you can never do what you love because you're always doing everything for everybody else, trying to please everybody else. And it's like, when can I just focus on what I love to do? You know, and so with reflection being here, that's exactly what's happening. You are also more aware of your emotions and you are more reflective about them. 
You recognize the differences between your intuitive voice, which is calm and assured, and your lower emotional compulsions, which are really, really just like driving you crazy half the time, okay? So, but sometimes it's just really urgent and sometimes fear-based, okay? So, you may feel like, you know what, I need to cancel this. I mean, I need to get away from something because, like I said, it comes out in reverse for you. So, a lot of you, like I said, you have some decisions to make. You are changing your mind about something. So, the water represents your symbol of your emotional energy, which is now on top. Feeling overwhelmed, something is blocking you or blocking your reflective experience and disrupting your life's journey. And it could be that you're giving too much of yourself to this job or to this situation or to even maybe this person that's just stressing you the hell out. And that is why the universe is like, look, you, you're a mess. You all tied up, you're driving yourself crazy, getting all emotional stressing out about the little things especially when it comes to money because you're blessed anyway you have to get rid of this situation whatever it is dear loves this is could even be a, a change plan or a trip so something is definitely blocking your energy and you need to find out what it is indeed you may have been experiencing an inner battle between your emotional needs and your intuitive voice Trying to choose between following your heart or doing what everybody else wants you to do. You know, am I allowing people to make me feel guilty? Am I allowing people to make me feel sad because I want to follow my dreams? So this astral energy that feeds your psychic sensitivity can get lost when the lower emotions take over, dear love. You have to stop allowing these things to block your energy. It's time to look within and understand the emotional storms that are influencing you. Do they stem from lack or fear? Find out what motivates your emotional ups and downs. Meditate. You have to reconnect, dear love. Look at this. You have to reconnect. This was you. And it's like, now you're like, wait a minute, what happened? I was so motivated. I was so ready. I was so full of life and energy and happy and content. And that is, again, why I love Venus Retrograde. Because we have an opportunity to stop the clock, rewind, reflect, and start over. We have that opportunity. We are being blessed with that opportunity this season, okay? Now, like I said, with that new moon in Libra, it's a perfect time to take advantage of new projects. Reconnect with the divine. Reconnect with source. Okay? You have to begin to fill yourself with an emotional peace as calm as a still lake, okay? You are now in a state of intuitive reflection. So this is no longer physical or, you know, just sitting in a house praying or whatever. Like, this is really, really taking the time to just look around you, okay? Look at that. Look out. Your ancestors, dear love, are guiding you, telling you, look out. Pay attention to what is draining your energy. What do you feel like when you go to work? What does it feel like? Are you happy? Are you like, yay, I'm at work today? Or are you like, oh my God, I hate this fucking job? Like, what is your overall energy? Are you, you know, going to your parents' house? Are you drained? Are you completely depressed every time you get there? Or are you excited and filled with love? Are you? When you're around this individual, are you content? Do you feel more happy being with your spouse than you do when you're with your friends? I mean, really take a look around. So again, Aries, you have a lot of energy that is asking you to go deep within and not to be afraid to go deep within. Okay, so this is very, very beautiful. I mean, seriously, you guys got the passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, dear love. And that is in love. You are in love. Some of you are so happy to be reconnected with this individual. 
Some of you are actually even falling in love with this person and they just disappeared out of your life. Some of you are even in love with somebody that is already coupled up. Some of you are in a relationship and you need to take time to bring back that passion. Because here it is where you have been so worried about everything else that love is seeking your attention this season. And I mean, I mean, what can we say? I mean, like I said, Venus is hanging around. Love is in the air. So we are definitely, definitely thinking about money and love, okay? However, because it is retrograde in Scorpio, be mindful not to be too possessive, too crazy, you know, banging on someone's door, calling someone's phone obsessively, or pay attention to not allowing your jealousy to override what you and this person have built together. Please, not for a temporary situation. Don't give up on a permanent situation for a temporary situation. You got to know what's for you, Aries. So I also see honeymoon, okay? So after you do all this reflecting, you and your spouse need to take a trip somewhere. You need to go away. You guys need to start planning processing those payments, saving up for that trip or that honeymoon. And for a lot of you that are married or getting married or have plans to get married, take a trip. Go somewhere fun and exciting, okay? Because I feel like that's what it is, Aries. You need to be surrounded by love. Well, you just simply not yourself. Like, you have to have beauty around you, okay? And look at this. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you, dear love. This is very soon. So for those of you that are single and you feel like, oh my God, I really like this woman. She's amazing. She's beautiful. But she's all caught up with somebody else. How the fuck can I get her over here? Right? Be yourself. Make her laugh. You know? Tell them corny jokes that you like to tell. <laughs> if you're an Aries woman and you are like, look, I really want to have a good time with my husband or my man, you know, or my significant other, right? You may feel like that is really what's holding you back. You may feel like that is exactly our issue. We need time away from everything and everybody. We need to start having more fun, right? So I'm going to do your overall advice, dear love, and I'll be done with you. So Aries, as I shuffle these cards, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, I have been rocking my little chakra bracelets. Look at how beautiful they are, right? So I actually handcraft these myself. If you guys go on my website, you can check it out. It's very, very beautiful. I did this myself. Look at this. I did all these myself. <laughs> so I actually, I just love the chakras. I mean, they do actually help keep us calm especially in situations where we can't seem to make up our mind it is very common and very important to focus on your chakras and meditate with your chakras going through a situation where you just can't seem to focus or concentrate or to even make up your mind follow your heart dear love okay that's all i want to say and if you guys are interested in one of the chakra bracelets go to my website g1insights.org and you should be guided to my page where all of my bracelets are, okay? And I will try my best to post the link below so you guys can um, be able to just, you know, click onto it and everything. So let's check out your overall energy. My dog is barking. Not my dog, my neighbor. My neighbor's dog is barking outside. He's loud as hell. Let's see your overall energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. Thank you for showing me Aries. <sighs> thank you for showing me overall advice. Overall advice. Overall advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, my God, this dog. So, guys, it seems like you got the card that is telling you to wait. Okay, so whatever it is, dear love, you want to definitely wait. Do not rush into the situation. I know that it's complicated. I know that you really would like to just give up and walk away, but just wait. Okay, the universe has something coming for you. Look at this another card telling you to wait very soon. It's gonna happen. Just relax, dear love. Okay, you are being guided to reflect, to go back to what you first knew. To follow your heart, to follow your passion, but you got to wait for the perfect moment, okay? 
And so, dear love, like I said, that money is about to be released to you. Those resources are going to be flowing naturally. So you should really overall feel very blessed this season, Aries. So I love you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for your overall energy. Once again, check out my website, g1insights.org. I believe that this is going to be one of your best months, Aries, okay? Even as overwhelmed as you may have been feeling, it's going to happen for you, sweetie. Stay put, okay? Don't give up so easily.